So with that, let me start by introducing our first speaker, who is Jen Peng Zhao. And Evan, if you'd advance, uh, 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 great. So uh, uh, Jen Peng is going to talk about remotely sensed. Oh, no, there you go. Remotely sensed land surface temperature to map urban heat vulnerability. Hi everyone, my name is Jen Peng. I'm a first year PhD student and also an urban trainee. Here I'm presenting my research proposal that is developed in an urban course. The title is Remotely Sensed Land Surface Temperature to Map Urban Heat Vulnerability. This proposal focuses on improving fidelity of reference indicators for decision makers. And I plan to make a map of how vulnerable Bostonians in different communities are during hot days to figure out which areas need more cooling assistance in summer or heat waves. Globally, most cities nowadays are subject to the so-called urban heat island effect, the phenomenon that an urban area is significantly warmer than its surrounding rural areas. That's why city dwellers are more vulnerable to the heat-related health impacts than their rural neighbors. To measure this vulnerability, we need to take into account primarily the physical factor, the temperature, and secondarily, social demographic factors. The challenge of this kind of research is that weather stations of direct air temperature measurement cannot provide fine scale of coverage of the whole area. But we have an alternative way, which is to use the surface bright temperature from remote sensing satellites as a proxy for air temperature. This data source generally provides a resolution of better than one kilometer that can reveal more information and it makes it possible to conduct statistics community by community. My expectation of this study are three, threefold. First, the distribution of heat vulnerability should be uneven and may even show social inequality due to social demographic factors. Second, temperature is the primary determinant to cause the heat vulnerability. Factors that are decisive aggregators or mitigators to the vulnerability also exist. Third, my quantitative description of heat vulnerability should be verifiable by medical data. In my design framework, the uh, heat vulnerability is defined by combining three sub-indices, one heat exposure comprising of temperature only, two heat sensitivity, the features that makes residents to have higher health consequences from heat exposure, such as high density of buildings and population, aging and poverty, three heat adaptability, which enhances the ability to resist health exposure, including high income, green spaces, and cooling centers. For constructing the sub-indices, the data will be retrieved from uh, remote sensing images, demographics, and geospatial datasets. I'll then use certain multivariate statistics to weigh these selected variables. The three sub-indices will be organized to form a heat vulnerability index in the end, we'll get a map of the heat vulnerability index for Boston population at a, a scale of tens or 100 meters. And I will prove the accuracy of the map by its correlation with medical data. Thanks for your patience.